Hi, it's Michelle here. Today we're going to have a look at how to remove the iStart Surf virus. So bear with me and I'll share my screen and get the presentation up. Okay, I'm hoping you can see my screen now. So the iStart Surf virus. Um, a neighbour of mine um, has got a Windows 8 laptop and she asked me to take a look at it. It was becoming unusable because of pop-ups, etc. Every browser, Internet Explorer and Chrome um, was starting on the iStart Surf page. This was causing pop-ups, videos to play randomly in the background, really annoying. As I said, that, that was a Windows 8 laptop, but... Um, I have since, strangely enough, come across another computer with Windows 7 that's got exactly the same problem. Fortunately, the solution is the same for both. I couldn't, um, I, I couldn't navigate very well with Windows 8, so before I started, I installed Classic Shell, which you can get from www.classicshell.net. It's basically a free download that makes Windows 8 behave like Windows 7, with the start button and menu kind of the same way to, to get around. Um, now, Windows 8 has Windows Defender as an antivirus program by default, so you can start by run, running a full scan, um, if you can, um, or whatever antivirus you happen to have on your laptop, on your computer. Uh, in any case, uh, we're going to download and run malware bytes, and we're going to download and run spy bot search and destroy. These are free programs you can download, and they do a really good job of cleaning your computer of any viruses. So Google them, download both, run a scan on both, and by default, it will come up with um, any results um, to quarantine. So um, Run the scans, quarantine all threats that are found. Next step is to restart your computer and see if your browsers still start with iStart Surf. For me, it was still starting in iStart Surf. So the next step I decided to do was to run the scans again in safe mode. Um, the problem, problem being that um, to run safe mode, normally you'd restart your computer and then press F8. But this doesn't this doesn't work in Windows 8. So in order to 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 boot into safe mode, um, you can use this with Windows 8, Windows 7, and previous. Um, if if the F8 doesn't work, you can just do this. You can type msconfig into the start, click the start button and then type msconfig, uh, select the boot tab and select safe boot and restart. Then when your computer restarts, you're in safe mode. So we'd go to the start menu, we would type in msconfig and there it is, we select that and we get this pop-up window. So we'll select the boot tab, select the safe boot, then apply. Press OK. And then you need to restart. Um, when you restart, you'll then be in safe mode. Uh, so as I'm recording, I'm not going to do that. So I'm going to exit without restarting. Once you get into safe mode, you need to run uh, the programs that I told you about um, and then come back in to msconfig and remember to go back to the boot menu and uncheck save boot, apply, OK, exit without restarting. So that's how you get into safe mode. So. After doing all of that, the browsers were still doing the same thing. Um, so I checked out all the internet options, settings in the browsers uh, to make sure the home page was not set to iStartSurf and they weren't. They were all set to google.com, which I always set them to. And then I found that 
The problem lay within the browser shortcuts. So what I had to do and what you'll need to do is check out all your browser shortcut properties and delete anything after the dot exe. So what we need to do is check all the shortcuts. So on the taskbar, right click Google Chrome, left click properties, that's fine. We can see that it ends in chrome.exe, which is correct. Uh, ch same, check uh, Internet Explorer, right click, left click properties, iExplorer.exe, which is correct. Anything on the desktop you can check in the same way. Properties, Internet Explorer, like you see. And finally, anything in the start menu, anything listed here, or if you type in the browser, you can right click here. Let's check all the properties, which are fine. Now, what the iStart Surf virus was doing was in every browser, including Firefox, I, do, I just don't happen to have it on this machine. Um, what it was doing is, it was on, at the end of this string where Internet Explorer would open, it would add its own extra string. Uh, I'm not going to obviously start iStart Surf, but just... Uh, just for the sake of uh, demonstration, let's say we want to do every time this particular browser opened, we wanted to open Amazon. So now I've added on the website that I want to open when in when this particular shortcut of Internet Explorer runs. So if I apply that, OK. Now, as you can see, every time I use this shortcut to open Internet Explorer, it will force it to open Amazon. And this is exactly what the I Start Surf virus was doing. So this is what you need to check. So check all your shortcut properties and take off anything after the dot exe. So go to the end of there, remove it, apply. And OK, and I found that um, that actually solved the problem better than any of the other solutions. So there we go. I had success. Um, now, not all of those steps um, may have been necessary once I realized that the shortcut properties seem to solve the problem. But I left all the steps in because it's a good idea to go through the whole process to lead to any other viruses or problems that may be lurking and Malwarebytes and Spybot are excellent programs for doing just that so um, I thought it was worth keeping it all in um, and you can sort of clean your system a, a bit more thoroughly. Um, so there we have it. So if I can now um, come back to me. There we go. So thanks very much for listening. Um, if this uh, video was helpful, please like, subscribe to my channel and um, leave a comment. If there's anything I've missed, anything you need extra clarification on, um, I'll do my best to answer your questions. OK, bye for now. Hope to speak to you soon.